Hello and welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm Mary Trimble with your readings for March the 4th through March the 10th. And listen, first of all, I want, if you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by and I really hope you enjoy these readings and that you'll come back. And if you are returning, thank you. You just bring joy to my heart. Thank you. Um, thank you for the shares, likes and comments. And listen, this week is huge astrologically. I'm going to make the horoscope readings very short, as short as possible. And um, so that we can go straight into uh, your card reading. I have been listening to you guys. <laughs> um, but I just want to say what's what's really happening, because I don't want to repeat myself on every video, on every um, horoscope, you know zodiac sign. Uranus is moving into Taurus and it will be there um, and it's moving into Taurus on Wednesday uh, March the 6th and it will be there until the year 2026. It's huge. It's going to be there for seven years. This is a huge shift, a paradigm shift and, and it depends how it affects you as to where uh, which area of your natal chart it moves into. Um, so we will touch on that in the horoscopes. But I, I just want to say Taurus is about money. It's about, you know, security. It's about banks. Uranus is the sudden happenings. It's like thunder and lightning. It shakes the status quo up. It's about revolution. It's about innovation. It's the higher mind, science. Um, really some, inc we will we will definitely make some huge um, uh, innovative steps forward in farming, in um, food production, in uh, in cleaning the planet, clearing it up. And also this is about equality, right? So um, it's really interesting. I've uh, we're already seeing um, things that are happening and playing out on the political field. This is not a political channel, so I won't go into it. But, you know, um, we are moving in a more progressive um, direction. Let's put it that way. Um, so that's exciting. Now, on Tuesday, it is Pancake Tuesday. That's what we call it in England. It's Shrove Tuesday here. Wednesday's Ash uh, Wednesday, we also have a new moon in Pisces on Wednesday too. So there's huge things going on planetarily that will affect us. Um, and what else? On Friday, it's Women's Day. So happy Women's Day. Happy Pancake Day. I remember my mum used to make these lovely pancakes, not liking, not like American pancakes. They don't like American pancakes. They like cakes, right? Pancakes. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose. But in England, they're more like crepes, you know, very thin and mm, delicious. I used to love coming home from school and having uh, pancakes for tea, as we say in England. That means dinner. What's for tea, mum? Oh, pancakes. I can't wait. <laughs> anyway, guys, without further ado, let's go to your reading, shall we? Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your reading for March the 4th through March the 10th and thank you for tuning in I really appreciate you guys. Um, this is a general reading guys so if you would like a personal reading a more in-depth reading uh, click on this link here and that will take you to my website. You can choose a reading that resonates with you now and I'm going to overhaul my website soon so FYI. If you check on it, it's going to change in the next um, I'm going to lower all my prices, darling. Um, anyway, uh, I just feel that I want to get it out to more people. But um, now Uranus, darling, is moving into an area that's going to... Uh, your, it's going to... It's going to give you the power to work really hard. I feel that you're going to have this energy um, and you're going to, you, I think you're going to be able to earn some money, extra money in some way. Um, I think that 
it's going to I also think it's in your house of service too so if you are doing your life purpose I feel that um, it's going to be successful and I think this is a time where you can really work hard on it um, it is about working it's also about service it's your house of service and your house of health too so I feel that you are really going to make some changes. I think health-wise, things you're really going to take off. You're going to, you're going to have that desire to be more healthy and to be lighter, and your health will improve during these, uh, during the next seven years for sure. But particularly um, sooner rather than later. Um, now, also, we have this beautiful new moon uh, happening um, on Wednesday at the same time. New beginnings, darling. Fresh new beginnings. This is huge energy paradigm. I feel that you're going to feel lighter. Um, and you're going to feel the desire to be as healthy as possible. And I think you can achieve that. Now, let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Oh, interesting. Let's clarify the Nine of Swords for... There you go. And let's clarify the Sagittarius for this coming week. Let's clarify. There it is. Oh, no, it didn't fall. One to two. There it is. Oh, this is so interesting. Oh, spirit is here. My nose is going. Ten to the dozen. All right. You have the queen of pentacles, darling. And I can't mention it without your clarifying card. You've got the empress. I think that you are going to create some money through a creative project. It's going to be a crea something creative. Uh, you're going to manifest uh, some finances look the the queen of pentacles she's surrounded by opulence you know um uh, she loves luxurious things she doesn't mind working hard for it and i feel that that's what you're going to do you know uranus is going to come in and shake up um your work your house of work and this is going to be the way in which you now you could be a writer you could be um, an artist you could be creating whatever it is you could be uh, you know in the visual arts whatever it is you are creating she's just manifesting her everything she's so creative and she's pregnant with ideas I feel that you're going to get some brilliant ideas and you're going to be able to manifest them you just got to work hard and that I don't think you're going to mind doing that um, the next card you've got in is the nine of swords which tells me that you're you're worried you're kind of going you're in a place of fear and you are going over the worst case scenario you have all these um it there's some confusion you don't know which way to turn that you have uh, you have all these directions that you need or you have all these things that you need to do and and all these directions and you don't know should you go should you stay um should you do it should you not there's all these uh questions and you really don't know uh which way to go and all you're doing is playing the worst case scenario over in your head oh, um this is asking you to meditate you have to quieten this mind because this is the fear. And so you have to kind of come out of the fear, but you've got to be kind of, I don't want to say, you know, because sometimes we can be in meditation and then we're in la la land, you know, and, and we're not in reality. And it's important to be in reality and be grounded at this time. And, and uh, Taurus is going to make sure that we are. Uranus in Taurus is going to bring us down, darling, to the ground. <laughs> it's going to make us look at things realistically. Um, so you're being asked to meditate in order to clear your mind so that you can really look at things in a rational and realistic way. Um, now, the next card you've got is the Hanged Man. This is telling you to look at the situation from a different perspective. And that's why you must meditate, because you can't look at it from a different perspective. Um, 
or a different angle if you don't. So this is saying take that time. Take the time to just pause for a moment. Um, have a pause in action. Don't take action until you really think it through and you look at this from a, another perspective. And perhaps talking to someone might help you see the other perspective and you've got clarifying the hand man is the hanged man. There's no way around this. You, you are, this is an urgent message to look at this situation from a different perspective because um, the way you're looking at it is not helpful and, um, and it's not the solution is what I'm getting uh, the solution is to step back and take a look at it from a different perspective. You know, maybe this is a new start for you. Maybe you need to let something go. Maybe you need to get up and take action quickly. Whatever it is, um, you need to clear your mind first and then uh, look at it differently. I look, I'm looking at these cards and they're kind of different too. They're the same card, but they're different. Interesting, aren't they? I'll put a spotlight on that if I can figure it out in my editing afterwards. <laughs> oh, Sagittarius, thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like this video, share it on your social media, comment. I live for comments and feedback. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I love you all and I'll see you next week.